so it's 5 a.m. in the morning and I just woke up and I decided to set up my Techniques stereo and today I'm gonna varnish that stereo to make it look nice again so let's get my stuff here and this is what I just bought recently this vinyl record John and Yoko the plastic Ono band this is very rare guys and uh, as you can see it's amazing and I've never seen this before so I'm very lucky to have this and I bought this uh, this one is uh, Paris yeah it's still sealed and I'm lucky it's they, they sound like um, Led Zeppelin so I, I bought it uh, yesterday and this one here my monster cable for my tube yeah tubes amplifier and right here it's my varnish that I'm gonna use for my Technics stereo and we're gonna do that today so I'm gonna go in my music room so here we are in my music room and here is the techniques that I'm talking about it's a nice piece and today guys I'm gonna varnish this it's because they look a bit faded and I wanted to make it look nice so I bought this, I bought this really uh, low price and it's not easy to find this piece. But yesterday I saw this Yamaha. Check this out guys, we have this Yamaha CR620. It's a nice piece. That's not bearings. Made in Japan, these buttons here treble loudness and then this different uh, switch yeah not bad <laughs> Japan made it's a nice piece right but I did not buy it because I have too many and uh, it's not really my uh, cup of tea. I mean, Yamaha, it's a nice looking receiver. But to me, Yamaha, it's more like motorbikes, you know. Um, stereos, I'm not really feeling the brand of Yamaha, but it's made in Japan. It's a nice receiver, but I did not buy it. Um, somebody bought it, but... I let it go but this piece right here in this techniques it has a beautiful sound this amplifier and you know I'm gonna clean this and varnish this to make it look nice again and so is this vintage speakers from uh, KLH so this is this is an old old speakers but they sound beautiful um i'm gonna you know varnish that with this and it's gonna look nice and i want to show you guys because back there in the garage you can't really see this record but this is a rare never seen this uh, record before so i bought it because it's john lennon i'm a big fan of john lennon and I have no idea what it is. Look at this, guys. It has the papers, the address, and all this, you know. Um, look at this, guys. Wow. So it's just, you know, um, the record, yeah, it needs to be cleaned. 
and it's not bad but for the price that i pay of course it's a good deal plus you know never really never seen this uh, record uh, this vinyl record before as you can see but i'm gonna have to fix this because you know it's all busted here so sunday bloody sunday and this parrot sound like um, led zeppelin so i bought it still sealed pay five bucks it's not bad at all so this may be another project there and yeah so we're gonna start you know varnishing this piece so let's do it so first thing i'm gonna get the screwdriver which is right here i bought this milwaukee and it's a nice piece i pay seven dollars for it and it's brand new yeah so let's open this guy and there it is as you can see so what i'm gonna do guys is just we're gonna just fold this rag and just dip it in there like that okay all right and just go to the top here and start from here so you can see like that okay just go like that all around yeah so this is going to be good for the whole receiver i mean amplifier okay so i kind of put a bit much but it's okay and then do the side here As you can see yeah try to make it look nice and here this corner yeah this corner right here just grab some more from this part and do the other side over here it's very easy to do this yeah Here you go, guys. Very easy. So make sure you just even, even it all over. Yep. There you go. And this area here. Yep. Voila, guys, look at that. What a difference, right? Very, very simple. Okay, swipe that out. Hook that side. There you go. And then you wait until it dries out for a couple of days and voila very nice looking and shiny then we're gonna do this one here so the speakers you just do the same thing just do it like that to cover the scratches and we do the same thing on this side very very easy guys to, to varnish the wood then it spins around the other side like that
there you go very nice you can see the difference guys and make sure you grab a piece of cloth and then you do the edge okay just wipe it i already did but i'm just trying to demonstrate it and make sure you clean the sides so guys very simple how to varnish um, wood um, amplifier or receivers stereos in general um, speakers to make it look nice there's some other speakers there which is clips and over here i have the sansui setup yeah all sansui's um, tubes and over here modern Marantz, Marantz, yeah, so easy to do to varnish your faded um, wood cases for your stereos or speakers, yeah, this is just a simple video guys, just to, you know, um, to, to um, share um, how to varnish your stereos. Um, first thing you have to do is to go to the store and buy one of these, okay? Wood finished. And then you picked what kind of color you like, um, light brown or glossy or darker. Depends, they have different selections. And you take it home with you and you mix it before you use it you clean your stereo your wood case or your speakers and then you know um, you just wipe it like one side but what i did is like you know i just whatever because i don't really care but you can just do one line back and forth left and right until you know from the start to the end and that's it yeah plus wear gloves guys because look you get you get dirty um, your nails get dirty i'm gonna wash my hands so guys simple video here from this beautiful techniques um, integrated amplifier su 7600 that's it folks and thanks for watching hit the subscribers and uh, we'll see you again next time for now say bye bye muy bien señor yeah